You you are mansplaining how to podcast. <laughs> I, okay, it, okay, I am, but I am also a professor. I also teach for a living, and mm-hmm. and so I like everybody to understand what's happening before mm-hmm. we go. Before we go, okay. I think go okay. ahead. Hi, this is Amber, and this is Lisa. And you're listening to Unexplained Arkansas, a new podcast that explores urban legends, mysteries, and the unsolved in the natural state. We're just two best friends discussing the unexplained in Arkansas. Okay, so let's just get right into our first story. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm going to tell you a ghost story. Oh, yay. Okay, so are you ready? It's this one. I am so ready. We talked about how this, like all of these things, obviously, are in our backyard. But this one is truly, literally what a mile from you (laughs) yeah it's about a well i don't know i don't know distance i don't know it's like two two miles yeah Yeah, i think max it's probably like three or four miles from me do you did you hear anything growing up about a ghost at harding did you ever hear that well of course everybody did that was a Mm -hmm. common story Mm -hmm. you know we all heard it growing up yeah what did you hear do you remember like what you heard (sighs) Really, what I would always hear it it would be it would be some kind of version of the same story, which was there is a female ghost um somewhere in one of the harding um girls' dorms, and mm-hmm. um there were always strange noises, strange happenings uh some people said that they uh they would see her, you know things like that mhm, yeah, me too, so I would like. You know, there was a girl and she was upset, like something happened to her. And you can sometimes hear her, like crying at night or something, you know, they, people would see or hear. So, so when we were setting up our podcast, we were like trying to think of ideas. And I was like, what about the ghost of Harding? And you were like, yeah. And so when you literally Google such, it pops up as Gertie. It pops up as Gertie, uh, Galloway Gertie, the ghost. I love of- that name, by the way. Gertie. <laughs> it's so cute. It reminds me of the little girl on E.T. Wasn't her name Gertie? Gertrude? I don't, I don't know. Was it? Yes, Probably. it was. It was, it was Gertie. <laughs> like Drew Barrymore? Gertrude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so it pops up. Like if you go in Google, that's, that's literally what you're going to see. And so the very first, like. Even the really the best, and I would say there's tons on the internet about it, but the bison, literally, which is Harding University's newspaper, has an article that you can find from 1952. And basically, yeah, so we're talking 1952, and we'll kind of get into like the backstory on on all that. But so as, as old as that, it just basically tells you in this article that there was a girl her name was Gertie she went out um i guess she was like hanging out she, this was a, a Galloway college so this was Galloway female college and she had been out for the night she was wearing like a a white gown she was doing her thing looking all cute and she came back to her dorm and she was kind of you know i guess you know tiptoeing around and what not coming in and she heard a sound coming from what the article describes as an old elevator shaft that wasn't in use so she hears a sound oh my goodness she goes That's so scary old you know, elevator shafts i know can you matt i mean just the whole thing and we will be posting like pictures of what her quote-unquote uh dorm looked like and such i mean it looks like scary <laughs> sweet <laughs> Um, nice, you know, elevator shaft. So she goes and checks out like this noise 
And so she's just, you know, doing her thing and she's, you know, supposedly she falls. And so the other girls in the dorm hear. Wait, she falls down the elevator shaft? Yes. According to this article, she all, you know, it, it goes from literally her checking out this noise. And then all of a sudden, all of the other students, the girl students running, hearing screaming and running. And they find that Gertie had fallen and she's dead. Obviously. oh no oh gosh because you she fell into an oh my elevator. gosh that is so sad <laughs> the story and supposedly according to this you know article that gertie had stated that she loved galloway female college so much and she loved her school that she never wanted to leave and so the story quote unquote goes that she, she never didn't. left. <laughs> she didn't oh my gosh. She that is so there. creepy. Uh-huh. She is still she there. She must just love Harding. <laughs> Harding is a sweet little college. It's a very sweet little college. And we're going to talk about that too. Like we're going to, we're going to get into all of it, Amber. Because wow. me and you, and we'll get into telling them about last night. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's right. We didn't even mention that, did we? We, we will. Um, because we are very <laughs> thorough. Mm -hmm. Uh, In our research, we actually went to Harding campus last night at midnight, Mm -hmm. which was so hard because (laughs) I go to bed at 8 p.m. I have a toddler. And so I go to bed at 8 p.m. I told my husband, I said, I said, we are going to do a little, you know, ghost hunt. Uh, No big deal. And he kind of looked at me (laughs) and I said, yeah, I'm I'm leaving at about 1130, but I'll be back, you know, sometime after midnight. (laughs) One, one thirty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was so hard to like, it's hard enough to stay up, much less get out, like leave your house, put on shoes at 11, 11 o'clock at night. Like I was like, Amber, I'm going to come pick you up. We, we did, we did have fun though. We went to McDonald's before and after. (laughs) And this is not an advertisement (laughs) for McDonald's. Or is it? No. um, Don't shame us. (laughs) Don't, what's the word? Don't judge us. Was I not supposed to say we went twice? (laughs) Was I only supposed to say we went once? We, we got beverages the first time and I got food. I got a holiday pie the first time. (laughs) You okay, just, we're getting off track. Tell okay, all our so, secrets. Holiday okay. pies, French fries. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> they it remind really me. Good. My grandmother used to really work good. at the bread store in town, and they used to have those little those little pies in the packages, oh. and they were so good. And it was like vanilla, <laughs> like pudding in them. Ooh. That's what the holiday pie tastes like. It's really those good. Are, anyway, all right. So I'm that's a- the only sidetracking I'm going to do. Whatever. Yeah. Right. I'm. I am on a holiday pie now. I'm going to be thinking They're about good. that. They're good. They're <laughs> good. Well, to to get a little, maybe a little bit back on track. So ever since that article, that 1952 article in the Harding Bison did describe that ever since that happened to quote unquote Gertie, the students there will see a woman in a white dress, you know, on campus and they will hear, you know, a woman and And also, so we kind of have to go into like a little bit of a a history, which I love. I've really enjoyed all this like research and archives and library stuff because I'm a little of a nerd and I really. No, you're not. That's not a nerd. Carl calls me a nerd. He's like, you're such a nerd. (laughs) He does it in a loving way though. Um, And I don't mind because. He says I like to read, and that makes me a nerd. So it is. That what doesn't it is. make you a nerd. I mean, you know, like I'm like a a cool nerd. <laughs> a cool nerd. Yes, we cool are cool nerd. nerds. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So so what we found. So okay. So that's the story. That is the Gertie story. So now we're gonna kind of go a little bit. Like my big thing was okay, who is Gertie? Like, did this really happen? Like, that's my thing. You know, that was, that was like my big question. So I went out to the campus and literally, and we will post this, but literally there is. Oh yeah. All this is posted on our Facebook page. Okay. FYI. Yes. Yes. And you will be able to see pictures and blah, blah, blah. But there is a bell tower on the Harding campus and Hart. Okay. And so 
I'm going to try not to get all crazy. But Harding is a beautiful campus. And really, our town is really pretty. It's very picturesque. It's not very big. Um, We have a population of 24,000. The Harding campus has about right under 5,000 students. And they come in from all over the country and all over the world. So it is a private university. It's it's just a very, very pretty campus. But I did go to the campus. Um, So Harding actually has been around since 1924. They're going to celebrate their 100th year. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I've been seeing those signs. Yes. They're going to be, yeah, this coming year's their 100th year. But they weren't always in Searcy, so which is where, you know, they are now. They were in Moralton, which that's probably about, what do you think, 150 miles from here? Is that right? Oh, my goodness. No. No, wait. Maybe it is. I I don't know. No, it's right outside of Conway. Um, Um, I mean, it takes an hour and a half to get there, right? Heck, I don't know. We, we need there somebody for... to. We we need a math person on this we, podcast. We, we need a distance for cheer. I think it's so. We'll just say you know something like a little it's outside of Conway. It's outside of Conway. It's it's at least a hundred miles, probably. I would say. So they moved in. Sorry, I have my dates. Nineteen. It's like 33. So they moved, and actually they moved in 34. So the campus before was called Galloway Female College. So the the college that, that Harding came to, to take over in Searcy (laughs) was the Galloway Female College. And the Galloway Female College. Which was one of the first, uh, it was one of the first female colleges in the South. I do know that. Yes. Yes, it was. And it was very like it was a it was a big to do. And it was it was honestly a big to do for the town of Searcy. Um, At that time, maybe we had 2000 as the population. Um, But the Methodist Episcopal Church was actually looking for a place to set up a female college. They felt like it was really important for, you know, to have somewhere where, you know, women could be educated, Um, which, of course, thank you. That's pretty progressive. For I that know. time period. Very progressive. And especially, um, you know, in the South. Yes. And 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 to have a place in the South where where parents could feel comfortable about sending their children. That was kind of the big thing. And I do have a fun tidbit about that. Don't let me forget. But um I hate so the word tidbit. tidbit. That's like tidbit. Yeah, I don't like that word. You don't like that word? Yeah. I, I do. Sounds like cat tidbit. food. Sounds like a cat food <laughs> brand. Anyway, go ahead. Kiblet, kiblet. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Okay. So I do have a tidbit to share about that, but, um, so I transgress. Oh, we're talking about the, okay. So in, in the year, probably 1887 is when they kind of started looking at where they were going to set up this school. Okay. They wanted to do a female college. So Cersei, they went around talking to places and Cersei was like, please us. Like they really, wanted the college to be here. And in fact, I hear this all that we're, this is kind of weird. We are a dry county. So Searcy is the county seat for White County and we are like the hub. And I think White County maybe has, what do you think? 90,000 residents. So we're like the county seat. Okay. And our county is what's called a dry county. And we hear complaints about this all the time. That means that you cannot purchase liquor. We do not have liquor stores. You cannot purchase liquor in a in our grocery stores or Walmart or anything like that. We do have restaurants that have liquor license. So they get a license, you're a member of their club. So it's not, so we do have liquor, but our county is dry. There are several dry counties actually in Arkansas. And that's probably a really weird thing for people that are not in the South. (laughs) But one of the reasons why we're dry is because we wanted for this Galloway, you know, college, this college, this female college to come here. So that was very important that our residents voted to keep. Wow. I didn't know that. That's the tip. Isn't that interesting? So that that is is very interesting. I've often wondered that. Because we weren't always a, a dry county. Um, See, I didn't know that. I thought yeah. we were just always a dry county. Mm-mm. So it, you know, it kind of happened to be. So the, you know, we decided to keep it dry at that point to vote no on liquor so that we could get this college. And in fact, the town put up $25,000 to this 
you know, college to the Methodist church to say, Hey, we're going to give you $25,000 if you will come to our, you know, build the college here in Cersei. And that is equivalent to right out of about a million in today's wow. money. Wow. So this was very important to the, to the town of Cersei to have this college. Um, and so in 1889, uh, was when the Galloway Female College, like, came into existence, started, you know, started. So um, this, I did find, so I went over to Harding Campus, and there are signs there, you know, they have this Galloway, it says Galloway Female College, and it has it on the bell tower, and it's like this plaque, and on the plaque, it literally says, like, graduating class 1909, and right at the head of this, it says Gertrude Cantrell. Right. Yes, that picture is on our mm-hmm. Facebook page. So. Yes, go check that out. So I'm thinking, okay, you've got Galloway Gertie. This is like the supposed ghost. Like, obviously, this Gertrude Cantrell is has been assigned. And then, and when you do look on the internet, what was it? Was it Twitter, Amber? So, oh so yeah, the, Gertie has her own Twitter account. Yeah, she has her own Twitter <laughs> account, and it literally says Gertrude Cantrell, and it, then it also says Ghost. Um, what does it say? Like Ghost of Harding or whatever. So that that basically somehow was a sign that that's connected. So that led me down kind of a a hole. Like I wanted to know more about this Gertrude Cantrell. So kind of keep that in your thing (laughs) right there what are you doing (laughs) nice oh i'm taking a selfie oh good what i was like well you know since this is our premier episode and you sent me that really nice picture of of your neat little desk i was gonna put one of me too but i keep making duck faces which Um, are it's not very attractive all right here we go (laughs) that's awesome um we can see each other like we're not like I'm at my house she's at her house but we can see each other and it's just really cool anyway how this is all working um so my the big thing I wanted to research was Gertrude Cantrell so I did find two Gertrude Cantrells (laughs) uh one I thought that was interesting you did tell me that part and I thought that that was pretty pretty interesting right there one that I found and and I will say so well, for I need to I need to go backwards a little bit. The Harding University Library let me come in and look at their archives, and they had yearbooks um, from the Galloway College, so from the female college, and that was really cool. I got to see some information about this Gertrude, and she was something. She was like president of her class. I mean, she was she was very active with the school. That's probably why her name was listed first on the graduating class of 1909. So that was really neat. So I got she to... was an overachiever. She <laughs> Gertrude was like, yeah, she was the it girl. And not that the, I mean, not that this was like a huge like, situation. What do you mean, it girl? Like the Regina George it girl um, or like the, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, <laughs> Like the no. mean girl? <laughs> no. no, I'm kidding. She, no, she, she's probably she, very sweet. She's probably she was very like, sweet. Yeah, very loving was, and sweet, I'm sure. Yeah, she was probably like, I don't know. I mean, obviously very um, thought high of to be president of her class. But she was just like involved. She was very involved. And I mean, we're talking the class was made up of like 12, 10 to 12 girls maybe. I mean, we're not talking huge situation. But she was... What were the, the big, ages? Was it just like 17, 18, 19? No, it actually, so they called it the, the female college, but the age range were actually running, like they had primary age. So it was running like, I think they had a total of 200 and something students, but it ranged, okay, like from kindergarten on up. So, and and even into like, it looked like she was like a sophomore or senior, like in 1909, she was a senior in high school. So it wasn't like a senior in college. They did have a a college going on, but this was like, she was in what they would call a prep preparatory. You know, she was, she was graduating high school from what I can understand from everything. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? So she would have been, yeah. in 1909, she would have been like 18, it looks like. Okay. She, was, she was born, anyway, we'll get into that. She was born like in 
1888, 1889. So yeah, so she was she was 18. What what, what, what was I talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> Did I get you off track with that? I asked you how old they were. Um, okay. Um, I really can't remember. Um, oh, That's so I okay. was trying to find Gertrude. So I, I, was I, will just, to... I will, I will uh, edit all this oh, out yeah, with all the can. editing magic. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out, no, well, leaving all the good stuff. Um, all the good, all the good. Um, so I was trying to figure out, First, if this Gertrude, you know, A, she obviously existed. So Gertrude Cantrell existed. I wanted to find out how long she lived because obviously if she lived beyond her years at Galloway, then, you know, she's not a ghost. She wasn't (laughs) a ghost. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So I did find two Gertrude Cantrells that were from, because I I did find out that she was from Dardanelle. Dardanelle? Dardanelle? That's correct. Dardanelle? That's Arkansas. correct. Okay. She was from Darnell, <laughs> Arkansas, which I have no idea where that is. I think it's, is it south of us? I got you a map, Lisa. Sorry. I got it's you like... a map when we started. <laughs> <laughs> it's like south. <laughs> it's in the south. I'm going to look on my phone, actually, because that's going to bother me. Um, It's probably around Darnell. It is 75 miles from here. Ooh. I'm going to look. So it is south of us. It is 75 miles to our south. Okay, so she was from no, South Arkansas? She No, it's more to our west. Like a little south. So she is 70. So Darnell, where she was from, was about 75 miles to the west of Cersei. So, um, but I did find two... Gertrude Cantrell's that kind of fit the age bracket and both of these women like one ended up in California and one ended up in Louisiana and Hmm. both of these women lived a long life (laughs) so that is true so 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 they were not this skirty so that's all I can say on that but I will say there's there. So we know the story of Gert, quote unquote, Galloway Gertie, right? But right. when I ask, I have several friends, just like you do, you know, here in town that are alumni of, of Harding. So one of them was like, oh, I never heard of Gertie, but I heard about the Patty Cobb ghost. So, oh, so we have a different name going on. Well, you would think. So what happened was, so Gertie, her mishap happened in Godden Hall, okay, which was part of the Galloway College. Well, Godden Hall was torn down in the 50s. And we'll kind of, and we didn't really say, so, you know, we do know that the, by 1934, Harding was there, okay? Harding had moved in. Galloway College went through a lot of situations and they just for financial reasons they had to close in 1933 they just weren't they just couldn't make it happen the money just wasn't working okay oh, that's sad it is sad so what happened was um the co- the college the female college was basically taken on by hendrix college which is located in conway arkansas which was a boy back then hendrix was a private boys school and so basically they just merged the boys and the girls. Does that make sense? So, you know, Galloway no longer needed. And of course, okay. Oh, what do you? I, I can hear myself in, in the speaker from your side. Oh, from my side. You need side? to turn me down a little bit. Oh, okay. How do I do that? I guess. Just turn your speaker down. Don't act like I know how to do stuff. In uh oh. What did Uh-oh, I just what'd do? You do? I don't know. I, I still the, hear you. You still hear me? I pressed a button. Wait just a sec. You need headphones. You need <laughs> some headphones. I'll get some headphones. Wait just a sec. Um, let me. F- okay, I found it. All right, cool. Okay, are you good? Are you good? Yes. I turned yes. you down. Okay, so I don't know where I was again. No. Oh, okay. 
So I was talking you about the Gall. Okay, so the Galloway College ended in 1933 because they merged with Hendrix. That's where we were at. Okay, you with me? Okay. I am with you, girl. You bored? You bored, girl? No, okay. not at all. <laughs> you're like, I'm, you're probably googling all this, and you're like, I got to the. I'm cutting to the chase. <laughs> Well, we have to make this stretch between 45 minutes and an hour. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. With a bunch of crazy. Anyway, um, so we're talking about, <laughs> I'm getting back on subject. Okay, so in 19, so we're talking about Godden Hall. Okay, so Godden Hall is where this incident of Gertie happened. And Godden Hall was just, you know, it was old. It got old. I mean, it was built in whatever, in the end of the 1800s. And so... In the 1950s, Harding, you know, tore down Godden Hall, okay? And they built their administration building. So if you, if you ever, if you're familiar, or if you get a chance, you can go look at Harding campus. You can go where we're talking about and see the administration building. So that's where Godden Hall used to be. And there will be pictures of Godden Hall. I think we've already posted one. So we're going to post all this together for you guys when we upload, you know, this, this actual episode. So Godden Hall was torn down. The the thing that is talked about is the bricks from Godden Hall went into the Patty Cobb building. Now the Patty Cobb Ooh, creepy bricks. That <laughs> yeah. sounds creepy. And it went into the Lee building. So the Patty Cobb building and the Lee building are still on campus to this day. Okay. They're still on campus. They're used. Um, and but Patty Cobb building was actually built in 1919. So I don't know. And and supposedly Godden Hall was torn down in the 50s. So they did oh, build okay. on to Patty Cobb, you know. So right. they probably used those bricks either in paving or additions. I'm sure the the building changed a lot throughout the years. So kind of fast forward, you know, you're at the campus. And you've got the Lee building, which has bricks from Godden Hall. You have the Patty Cobb building. So the Patty Cobb building is a dorm, okay? And people live there. So there are nice. a lot of stories. Do what? I said nice. nice. They live with a ghost. I know. So they, like, have a lot of stories about the hauntings that go on at Patty Cobb. Current. And we're talking. Well, that's what. That's what, when I heard stuff, I heard what, stuff heard from people stuff? that lived in Patty yeah, Cobb. that lived in Patty Cobb. Yes. There, in fact, there is, um, an article on only, what do they call that? Only in Arkansas, a publication mm-hmm. that First Security Bank puts out. They have a story. It's a, Elizabeth Harrell evidently lived in Patty Cobb. And she tells in this article that she was, she moved into Patty Cobb probably, it sounded like kind of in the 90s probably when she was there or late 90s and she was uh, an RA there and nothing ever happened to her she said during while she lived there except on the very last day that she you know was going to be living there she was going to be moving out she had an incident happen she she basically was Hmm. alone she heard a lot of noises and she kind of had her, and she had always heard about, I guess, the Patty Cop ghost or whatever the ghost, you know, but she had her own, you know, situation happen. So, um, we'll kind of say, I know. So she's, let me find it real quick. So she said, uh, you know, she was one of the few girls left in the building and she had ordered some pizza. Ooh, pizza. Let's talk yeah. about, I wonder what kind it was. <laughs> she said, <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was yummy. Uh, she said she made her way downstairs to get her food and she said hello to some friends. And then she went back up to her room, which is on the third floor. And as she was rounding the corner, uh, she noticed like some things were just not right. At the far end of the hallway, one of the French doors that goes out to the veranda, you remember what we saw? Um, yes. It was open. It was ajar. And she said she found it odd that anyone would be out there considering how like it was really late she said it was really late there was only a few students left in the building okay so she walked down the hallway to reach out to pull you know the door closed and as she reached out the door moved away from her hand 
<laughs> oh, no way. That is, is so creepy. <laughs> that is so creepy. Can you imagine? And she said it literally opened a little more. <laughs> and then she kind of, of course, no. like, she was shocked. She just kind of paused and she kind of reached out her hand to try again. And it did it even more. So it was like, it was like it was playing with her. <laughs> so it was, was it like the wind? She was like, at this point, she was just like, you know, looking around. Of course, she's, I mean, I'm sure she was flipping out a little bit. I would have been. And she was like looking yeah. to see if someone was out there, like playing a joke on her. You know, she was like, so she walked out there. She walked out, you know, she cracked it or she walked out on the veranda. She said it was just a warm night. And nothing, I mean, nothing was going on. The veranda was empty. It was just like, you know, weird. <laughs> and so. That is weird. That is did, very weird. <laughs> she decided to to give in and admit that she was a little spooked, you know, because she, that had never happened. But uh, despite, you know, all of her misgivings and thinking about, okay, it's an old building, the air currents. She just couldn't explain why it would open more when she reached for it, you know, like that was weird. But she did end up locking it. She just locked it. She went into her room. She locked everything. And she just like was like, oh, my goodness, like Gertie. It was Gertie. <laughs> she said basically. It was something. Yeah. And she called it Gertie. So in her in her article, she calls it Gertie and Patty Cobb. So so they kind of at this point are kind of a little bit used simultaneously. So I did have, I do have a friend. Oh, um, okay. I was wondering about that because when we first started looking at this case, mm -hmm. um, I was getting confused. I'm like, wait, wait, is the ghost mm -hmm. Patty Cobb or is mm -hmm. the ghost Galloway Gertie? Is it what? <laughs> I know. Cause it's like, you, you don't know. And, and you really, when you're looking at it, everything pops up as Gertie, but yet uh, like my friend, I, cause I asked my friend, uh, that went, she went to school there. Uh, she was from Memphis. She came to school at Harding. She would have been there in the late, very late, uh, nineties. And I asked her and, and then she the does late have nineties. I love that time period. <laughs> the late nineties when we had crazy hair. <laughs> Which and, we did put that picture on our Facebook too. Um, we certainly did. My 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 Natalie and Brulia hair, and you and your Drew Barrymore hair. Yes, Ugh. I love Drew Barrymore. I mention her mm. quite a lot, actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I've always been a Drew Barrymore fan. I I I do like her. I can't say I don't like her or I love her. I just I like her. Oh, She's I kind love of gone her. through. I mean, but remember, like late. There was like some periods where she was like, mm, that Drew Barrymore, she's risque. Like she's, now she's oh, not. Oh, that just makes her more fun. <laughs> no, but we should see if she wants to play Galloway Gertie in a. <laughs> in a, in a made for TV movie. <laughs> in a made for TV movie. She's probably too old to play Galloway Gertie now, but. <laughs> I, that would be awesome. But <laughs> so true. So, so true. But yeah, so my friend had not heard about Gertie because when I was like researching this and asking people like, Hey, have you heard about Gertie? You know, you went to Harding, you know, your, your, your daughter goes to Harding currently. She had not heard of Gertie, but she said, Oh, I've heard of the Patty Cobb ghost. So she had had friends. She had heard about Patty Cobb. So that there is stuff there. There's obviously something there, but a lot yeah, of what that's kind of how this goes. I mean, mm -hmm. after years and years, it, it changes the stories. Uh, the stories change. Yes. And I mean, this goes back to like the 1950s, you know? So yeah, over the years, it was like, okay, well, all of these things happened in the pot Patty Cobb building. And in fact, so. And they were all you... wearing poodle skirts. <laughs> in the 1950s. They're little yes. like, I, uh, I just yes. envision Greece. But that was that was made in the eighties, but it was about the fifties, right? <laughs> no, the Greece was made in seventy eight. I think Whatever. Yes. that's almost you know, it, no, <laughs> yeah, that's true. We weren't born yet. I we were not. We will be very clear no. about that. I am four years old. Four. <laughs> it's like you're four years I'm old. just very advanced. <laughs> and me married and have a fifteen year old. Anyway, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of the weirdness. 
I'm just gonna look. I'm not saying you can word. Edit it. I'm just sitting here at this point taking nobody, selfies. <laughs> nobody judge me as I watch Amber take selfies on the computer. Um so Amber, where was I? Oh. Okay. So we're talking about Patty Cobb. And so, okay, so you know Elle has always had a a Harding driver. Like I've always had, a, there's always been a Harding student. Okay, so you're, you're going to have to explain that. <laughs> like, a, like a babysitter okay. that drives her around. Like a babysitter. Like, yes. So she's already had, like Elle started um, competitive dance at a very young age. She started at like six. And so, she, so after school, like I worked full time, Daryl was in Little Rock. I was working very, very busy. So Elle needed a ride from, you know, school to the dance studio. So our very first, um, in fact, like I just got connected. I didn't want like a high school student driving around my six-year-old, but I felt comfortable with a college student driving her. <laughs> so we did get introduced. There's a big um, difference there. Is it there? is. It, I, I don't mean, know. I don't know. I, I mean, teach college students. So maybe, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, they've been driving for at least three or four years. Let's yeah, put that's it that true. Way. That's so that true. Was, I do agree. That was kind of my thing. I'm like, I want someone that's been driving for more than just a minute. So I did get introduced um, to a Harding student that actually was a Cersei girl. And I love her. We love her. She was our first one. She was with it. Literally, we have had four Harding students and they stayed with us for like three or four years apiece. <laughs> L is now 15 and it started at six. So, um, but anyway, the latest one, her name is Alex and we love her. Um, she... I asked Alex because she's a Harding student, recent Harding student. And so she, she was like, oh, I've never heard of the ghost. But um, I do have some friends that lived in Patty Cobb. And let me find that real fast. Bear with me. Where'd my phone go? Oh, there it is. I don't know. I've been <laughs> texting you through this whole thing. And you're not <laughs> you're not paying attention. Well, I so put it on I don't silent know. because okay. I figured you'd be like, your phone's dinging. Your phone's dinging. <laughs> Turn down your phone. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, Amber. Great. Um, Thank you. Oh, what are you, um, you're hearing yourself, th- whatever. <laughs> Those were me- messages like 30 minutes ago. I'm, I'm going to ignore your, your messages. <laughs> um, just like I ignore when Daryl calls me. Okay. So she, so Alex asked one of her, uh, roommates and she said that they definitely had ghostly experiences. Okay. Ooh. Living in the patty cob uh she did not go into what (laughs) well i will tell you this you know when we were there last night you know i I don't think we had any ghostly experiences Mm -mm. but i did i did get a weird you know sensation weird vibe you know walking around i mean it's a very old building it's gorgeous by the way it is gorgeous it's it's so lovely we have pictures um on on that facebook post but um you know i did get a weird vibe the bell tower right beside Mm -hmm. it gives it that creepy vibe Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i definitely i definitely can see yeah i can see why people think they they you know Yes. Feel or hear things. Or... And I definitely feel like when you have a building, I mean, that building is over a hundred years old. I mean, it's yeah. old um, mm-hmm. and it has a history and it has, you know, it has a little basement area too. That looks kind of oh, creepy. Yes. I mean, the word basement is simultaneous with creep. Like, mm. you know, like, cause I mean, when you say when, you, you know, I've got to go to the basement, even Kevin in home alone, like, the basement. I mean, <laughs> it's scary. He's like, oh, I gotta go to the basement. He had to do laundry, and it's yeah. It's just scary. Basements are scary. They're just. We have a basement, and it is scary. And I never that? go down there. Well, L, I'm just gonna tell you. So we have. I don't even. I wouldn't even call ours a basement. It is. It is a walkout basement. If you go down there, it is like twenty foot ceilings. It doesn't feel like a basement at all. But it is. We live in the side of a hill, you know, and downstairs. Yeah, is we like do a, too. 
Yes. We, so you, we live like in a hill. We, we're like, this yes. is like a hobbit house. And so we yes. have a true basement. <laughs> it's yes. underground. Yeah. And ours is like, we're built into the side of this cliff or whatever. And, and it's like, and it's, I mean, it's, it's a basement, but it's not at the same time. But anyway, we have a media room and we have, and Elle has a dance studio downstairs. Um, and she swears that that um, dance studio that we're, noises happen i mean whatever but oh it's, she, it's just the house settling <laughs> she won't she won't sleep down there let's put it that way she yeah. won't sleep down there so i get I don't it. think i would you're wanting me to come to come stay yeah. the night and watch movies and and yeah. and like sleep in your in your downstairs room hey. no yeah come I'm, on. Scared. I'm scared i'm okay. scared i'll let you I'll, I'll let you come upstairs and sleep you in, the come guest sleep in my basement first and then we'll go no. sleep in yours <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't. You have to quit. I'm allergic. Ever since I saw the Barbarian movie earlier this year, Mm. I am so, I'm so over basements. (laughs) Basements are so, I mean, basements are scary. This was like so off topic. So anyway, so there's definitely stuff that happens in the Patty Cobb building. Um, There's definitely, and there's also, okay, so there is a lot of stories coming from the Lee building. Okay, so the Lee now building. I heard that too, and actually somebody somebody sent in a message about the Lee building, which I thought was so cool. Cool, cool. Yes, yes. The Lee building. Um, you know, if if you go online, there's definitely, like I said, there's definitely a lot of a lot of interesting stories, but from people that that have worked in the Lee building. But the Lee building used to be the music um, building for for the campus, and now the music has actually They've built like a, oh, just a gorgeous, um, huge building across campus from this. But the Lee building um, is kind of like, what do you think? 200, 300 feet from Patty Cobb, like kind of a straight sure. jaunt across sure. the campus. <laughs> I mean, we did it last night. It's We don't even know how far it is to Moralton. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at, it was 75 miles. No, no, that was darn now. <laughs> I don't oh know. my Mor- gosh. Mor- <laughs> Moralton's around there. But um, but this Lee building is right kind of across from Patty Cobb. If you were in front of Patty Cobb, you can see the Lee building. And, you know, supposedly a lot of the ghostly apparitions on campus happen in that corridor between the Patty Cobb and, and the Lee building. Um, but I did have a an alumni reach out to me. Um, and I did talk to her. She's going to remain anonymous, but, uh, she had an experience in the Lee building and she didn't even realize if you're keeping track, how many experiences have we talked about? If you're keeping track, is this the third one? At least. least. And there's, if if you've got your experience scoreboard out, so we're, we're at three now. (laughs) We're at three and this is, yeah. And, and so many more, but, um, she said that she was a freshman, um, in 1966. So she was oh, moving wow. in. Yeah. Uh, she was moving into the campus and her mom and her brother were helping her move. Okay. Um, and so she had actually signed up to be in band. Um, but when she got on campus, like she, I guess she was meeting girls, you know, in her dorm and stuff and nobody was in the band. So she was like, um, I really don't want to do it anymore. I guess she like, she kind of changed her Aww, mind. That's sad. That's so no, sad. It is. it is. So she just kind of, you know, you know, she just, she wouldn't have any, you know, friends, I guess. And so she was just, she just didn't want to do it. And so her brother, um, was going to walk her over to the Lee building. So this was where the music building and, uh, he, it was a mid afternoon. It was just a, you know, it was during the day. It was just the fall and it was just, you know, bright outside. And so they walked into the Lee building and they go right into kind of like the Lee building. I don't know. You can even look in there and it's like in the middle of the building. What? Move over a little. I'm trying to take a picture of you. Oh, wait. Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. Middle of the Lee building. That was a long breath. Uh, <laughs> I was like, now that sounded like a ghost. 
That's not Urgh. how it goes. Hey, I'm trying to document this. I'm the producer. I'm trying no, to do all the producing I'm, things I'm while I listen to your interesting. This. <laughs> listening to your interesting story yeah right so she so her and her brother were walking um you know they went into the lee building and there's and they go in the front there's kind of like a foyer like a hallway and they're like there's no one there like it's empty like no one's there and she because she needs to talk to the band director she wanted to tell him that she wouldn't be in the band so she's looking they're kind of like i bet he was mad <laughs> anyway, it was like thanks <laughs> and um but th- she was she was looking around and so she you know they're they don't hear anything and they're like seriously and so they're calling out they're like hello hello is anyone here no one's answering no one's there so they do hear footsteps like her and her brother hear footsteps above their head okay it's mm. a two it's a two-story building so they're clearly footsteps so they just think there is someone upstairs Okay, there's got to be someone upstairs. So they go to the opposite ends. There's like a stairwell on each side of this building. They go upstairs. So they're starting at the, you know, the ends. And they're looking upstairs for someone that made these noise, their, these footsteps that were clearly footsteps. And they go room to room. No one is there. So they're like, wow, oh, that is, hey? okay, that's, that's freaky. That would scare me. To, that would scare the crap out of me. And of course, you know, in ra- I mean, people in rational, you know, like, yeah, it's kind of like, okay, that's weird. But they just kind of dismissed it. They were like, well, you know, maybe it was, the, you know, whatever. But they clearly just thought the wind. Was the it's always just it's the just, wind, right? It's always just the wind, right? Yeah. So she, so later on, she doesn't even know about Gertie. She doesn't know about ghosts. This is night. So again, this is 1966. And she said a couple of months later, she's talking to other students and that's when she hears about Gertie and the Lee building so Hmm. uh, then she's like okay well I encountered Gertie and didn't even like realize it so because some of the again some of this activity is Gertie it's you know some of it's in the Patty Cobb some of it's in Lee building there's just a lot of stories about that so so interesting and I will there were several there was a I want to tell you do you want me to go on to number five or four? Sure. Four, five? Sure. I can hear my boys getting noisy in the other <laughs> room. So as long as you're not hearing it. <laughs> I'm not hearing can, it. Speaking of footsteps, I hear, I hear footsteps all around my house. They're, I, they're closing in on me. I don't. Oh, the kid, like the kids? My kids. My scary kids. Yeah. Okay. So this one was posted by, um, this one was in the, this is like 2013 that this was posted. Okay. Uh-huh. So you, so we've literally have stories from 1952. So we're talking about incidents over and over again. There have been yes. reported experiences, reported. Uh, documented experiences over and over again. Yes. Yes. Like over and over again. And this, this was literally um, in the bison. I guess they do like a, they do their paper, their mag, their newspaper, but then they post it online. So a Bethany Aspie in 2013 wrote up a story about Gertie. Um, and it literally was called ghost stories from, no, this one was not, sorry. This one was just called, <laughs> I have so many papers. Are you showing, why are you showing me the paper? I can't read it. What's your thing? <laughs> I think it's literally like the goat, like, Gertie, like it was called the Galloway Gertie, like this story was about Gertie, the legend of Gertie. Um, and so she literally had interviewed um, a Jim Johnson. He's director of student support services, and he worked in the Lee building. OK, so this is him being interviewed by Bethany. OK, so he says in okay. 2000, 2004, he accepted his job and they put him in the Lee building. So. um you know, he was, he was moving in. He was, he didn't even have furniture in his office. His phone wasn't hooked up, like nothing, you know, things were getting hooked up. Okay. So in his phone, he says his phone was going crazy. He had a brand new phone and then the speaker came on. So things, so as things were getting connected, they were going crazy. Like nothing was working. Okay. So then he just, um, he, I guess he went hit the speaker. I guess he's saying this is very not greatly written. I'm sorry. (laughs) 
Like, Aw, poor girl. She's a she's a journalism student. Cut her um, some slack. I know. It's it's interesting. I had it says I had no furniture in my office at the time, but my phone okay, but my phone was hooked up and out of the blue my phone started going crazy. It's a brand new phone and the speaker part came on. I did not Ooh. touch it. I, Ooh, I love I that. I love all I know, the electric, I, like, scariness <laughs> stuff. Yes. Yes. I walk in, and there's a raspy sound, and they say his name. Okay? What? They It says he says their name. It was like... He, he said it literally says it was like Stephen King. My he said really? my name went Ooh, across. You're going to have to send me that. I want to read that. Okay. One. Yes. I, it said my name went across the screen hundreds of times and I couldn't get it to turn off. So I literally had to unplug it. <laughs> that unplug is it the creepiest then. one you've talked about. <laughs> yeah. And this guy, he, um, and in fact, I think one of my friends, she gave me like a report. She, she worked with him. So she had, a she had some experiences, I guess too, but she knew about his experiences in the Lee building. But, um, it said, uh, he, so he, obviously I'm sure he's like, um, I'm out. So he literally unplugged it and left the office. And then he called the phone company. He called the Harding phone service and they were like, Oh, it's gotta be Gertie. She tends to do things <laughs> like that. Wait, so wait, wait, a, wait. The 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 IT people said it was Gertie. IT people literally <laughs> said, "Oh, it's Gertie. No big deal." Because they were like, you know, oh, he's in the Lee Building. So, yeah. So That's then he had, funny. So this isn't it. So about two months later, uh, his wife and a student were repainting the hallways, um, and the building was locked up, and they ran out of paint. So, um, he and the student had not eaten yet. So they, so, uh, he's, my wife said, just go on and get some paint and and eat and come back. So when they got back, his wife was literally locked in his office in a different part of the building. So not where they were painting. And when I got to where she was and said, what's going on? She said, the doors were opening and closing upstairs. I could hear somebody in the building. I hollered, but no one came down or, or no one was there. So wow. literally she was left alone in the building to all this racket going on. <laughs> that is and, creepy. <laughs> yes. So then he also mentioned, so let's see, we finished painting. Uh, yeah. So he had, fin- I mean, after they had finished painting, I guess he had heard similar stories from lots of other people that, that had experienced this. And basically when they would tell these stories, people would be like, Oh, it's just Gertie. Like no big deal. Like, (laughs) wow. I love how they're just like, ah, you know, it's a ghost. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, It's it's just, just it just happened. So I guess that's how they feel in the Patty Caw building. Like, Oh, you know, I I can't close this door, you know, no big whoop. Um, a ghost is holding it. (laughs) Wow. That's funny. Uh, then he did say, okay, so then he does the same person, this Jim, Jim Johnson, he does mention, uh, once when he was, um, in the old band room, uh, cause he was, a, uh, you know, on that side of the building, I guess, um, everyone had left, he was putting his equipment in the old closet and he could hear music. And he, he, he says, I hear the run of a piano and it's a woman's beautiful voice. And all he thought was, wow, "Wow, that is so pretty. And then he remembered there were not any pianos in the building. Oh my goodness. So it's a ghost piano. It's a ghost piano and a ghost singer. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That is crazy. (laughs) Like, I'm sorry if that happened to me, I'd be like, um, Please relocate me. <laughs> please, please relocate me away from the, away from the ghost singer, like, please. I would, I don't think, like, honestly, I don't think I could, I don't know. I just don't know. Like, that would be hmm. so scary. <laughs> so. I still can't believe, I still can't believe there are all these documented mm-hmm. um, incidents. I really had no idea. I just thought it was just a fun story, you know, mm-hmm. that you, that, you know. You just yeah, heard you just here and there, but about. I mean, these, these incidents are a little bit freaky. I mean, <laughs> I, I had no idea. Now I remember hearing something about the music, but I didn't hear the story. That story yeah. is really cool. 
Yeah, I, yeah, me too. Like I'm diving into all this. I mean, there's so much more and really, so let me tell you uh, what else I found out. So, cause I, I really want to, I did find, I really wanted to know, you know, going, this goes back a little ways, but I wanted to figure out which Gertrude Cantrell was the correct one. Cause I told you I found two and both of them lived a long time, right? So they couldn't be the ghost. So they couldn't, obviously this in my thought, my personal feelings are that weird stuff was happening and Gertie, the ghost sounds really good. Like Galloway Gertie. Like that sounds good. Gertie's a cute name. It is very cute. And it's literally the (laughs) first name listed on the, the bell tower, you know? So of course they're like, it's right there. It's right there for them. I really Mm -hmm. think that definitely not to dispel that. I mean, but I really, the, not to get into, I have a different thought, but that's what I think. But I'd really wanted to know which think Gertrude. Because her name was first on the plaque. That's what the ghost's name ended up being. Yeah. Well, that and the sense. fact that it has some alliteration going on, Galloway Gertie. <laughs> right. Everybody loves no, a I, I totally, I totally agree with that? that. I think that that is probably why the ghost's name is Gertie. Yes. So having said that, how did you find out? Um, so what, what happened with the two Gerties? Okay. So I really, I mean, it was really bothering me and about which one it was. So, cause I was thinking at first I was like, okay, well this, I found one Gertie, Gertrude Cantrell, and she was in California and she, you know, I was like, okay. So then I Googled a little bit more and I found another one and she ended up in Louisiana. And I was like, you know what? That's interesting. So then I got on to, um, basically you, if you just look at obituaries, like that can really lead, at least show you like family connections. Yes. Yes. I've, and so, I've used those before. Yes. So it turns out, so, uh, there was a Gertrude Cantrell Foster listed in a, in an obituary. And it was actually an obituary for her son. Okay. And he, his, his name was like, he went by Pierce, it looks like, but it was a doctor. He was a doctor. Um, so then I dived in and, and then it listed his children. Okay. So it listed her son's children. So I was like, Ooh, maybe they're on Facebook. <laughs> of course, because yeah. everybody is. I know. So I literally, uh, was able to, uh, message, um, one of his children. So this would be uh, Gertrude's granddaughter, granddaughter and, right. and, and found out well, and, and just, well, I didn't know it was a granddaughter. Cause I just reached out to her and I was like, okay, it, by chance, are you, you know, was your grandmother, like, did she go to Galloway female college? <laughs> I'm doing, we're doing a podcast. Random, I, random girl calls or random, random lady calls and says, Hey, I need hey. to talk about your grandma. Yeah. Like, hello. Like it's totally normal. Right. And yes. luckily she was not weirded out by me at all. And she did tell me that. Yes. <laughs> Luckily. Luckily. Luckily, she wasn't, she wasn't weirded out at all. <laughs> in fact, I've got, in fact, I have a picture I will send. We will be posting Gertrude. Um, she's like she's, the real Gertrude, what Gertrude. she looks like. Oh, that's yes, so exciting. The, the real Gertrude Cantrell. We will post so the picture pictures. on the Twitter account. Is that the real Gertrude? That no. was my question for you. Okay. No. That's what mm-hmm. I thought. That's what I thought. But we, we, we will be posting a real picture of Gertrude and she was lovely. It was, she's Who lovely. But it's not the ghost. Let's reiterate that, that she, <laughs> she lived, lived a long, full life. Yes, she did. She, in fact, she lived to be, I believe she puts it in here. Wait, just a second. Yeah. If she was like 86 when she passed away. Okay. Um, so that means that Galloway yes. Gertie isn't. Gertie. Isn't Gertie. <laughs> it's not so now she the, may be someone else but she's not Gertie. but um yeah she, i will say her her granddaughter had the most amazing things to say about her she literally oh that's um, so sweet like when i reached out yeah she was like um like one of the first where did it go one of the first things that she literally said was let me find it real fast well did it was she so nice does um, the woman know that her grandmother is like a famous ghost in Searcy, arkansas 
Well, now she does. <laughs> That's um, awesome. And she will be. And I, I told her I would send her the podcast, but um, uh, she just said, yes. She said that her mother attended Galloway or her grandmother, this is her grandmother. Um, she, uh, she played basketball, which of course she did so many amazing things. And I will get into that for a second, but um, she says that she was amazing. She was just talking about her um, oh, earlier. Wow. And uh, she also said that she, um, let's see. So, so Gertrude married a physician. So she, she assisted um, her physician husband in practice. She had three sons. And of course, you know, one of them was also a doctor. Um, she was a pillar in her Methodist church where she played the piano. So she did play the piano. Wow. So okay. FYI. Um, but mm-hmm. she lived a long and fruitful life. Um, and okay. one of the things that really touched me, because, you know, we have we have children. So this was really touching to me. But she said, uh, and this is her granddaughter saying that. So when her sons left the house, she never said, be good or behave yourself. She said, remember who you are. Oh, I love that. I'm going to start saying that. I know. I was like, oh my goodness. Like that is so poignant, you know, like that is so true. Like so sweet. Yes. And it is sweet. So it was just like, wow. I feel bad that I thought she was a ghost all these years. (laughs) Well, I, I just, I, I still, so my biggest question in all of this is still like, who, I mean, we're talking, this story comes from 1952. Uh So, and, and Gertrude, you know, she graduated in 1909. So between 1909 and 1952, someone came up with this story. (laughs) Yes. And if you're listening out there, Mm -hmm. you want to know who you are. No, I'm kidding. Yes, we Um, really do. Like email us, message us, please. Like I want, I still would love to know like who connected all the, and, and this story was elaborate. Like falls mm-hmm. down and it definitely down. is it def- I mean, definitely is an elaborate story and thousands yes. of people have heard this story throughout yes you know, throughout the decades at, and at Harding. Now, and now it's going to be the four people that listen to this podcast i know i'm so excited <laughs> but i will say this i will say that that i love the fact that you went the extra mile and you did find mm. uh, the family of gertie and now we can 100 percent say that Gertie is not, not the ghost. It's not. There Gertrude might be something. Cantrell. It is it's not, not Gertrude Cantrell. Mm-mm. But she was awesome and amazing. And I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do. Yeah, she was literally like president of her class. That she was in like their social group. They had like social clubs, and she played right. basketball. I mean, she was amazing. She was just. Yeah, she was well, awesome. So. I'm glad we can give her a shout out on this podcast. I'm also glad that we have kind of squashed a rumor, but at the same time, it opens up a lot of questions yeah. that we might want to revisit later in a different podcast yeah. because now, you know, we have all these quote unquote experiences, you know, mm-hmm. you've only talked about five of them. I'm sure there's mm-hmm. more. And if you do so have more. an experience and you want to tell us about it, mm-hmm. you know, email us or uh, yes. send us a message through Facebook. But, you know, this, I think, I think we're just kind of getting started with this now because mm-hmm. we have, you know, dispelled a rumor. We have said, okay, we have, we have figured out a mystery. So we've explained <laughs> something. Yay. Yay. Look we at explained. us. We explained. The unexplained, yes. maybe. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So what? So what is making mm-hmm. uh, the noises okay. and do and the th- what? What is going I, on in Galloway Hall? I know. Well, I mean in, Galloway Hall and Paddy Cobb Hall. Paddy Cobb. See, I'm already Lee getting building. the names mixed up again. <laughs> the Lee Building and the Paddy Cobb Hall. So you what were about is to start going another on? rumor. <gasps> I was. Oh my gosh. I don't want to do that. I don't want to start. I rumor. really, okay. I really do think it's little like, you know, you know, okay. So remember in school playing the telephone game? Like, remember yes. how that went? I loved I mean, that game. That I really think is the biggest thing that how things get started. But I definitely do believe that there's something, there is, there is a spirit. I do believe that. It's just not Gertrude. Now, I will say last night, so when we were on the campus, Let's be honest. And I will. And so this is kind of interesting. Did you know back in like around this time frame, like when Galloway College was there, even in the 30s when they were when they were ending. So that was the edge of Cersei. 
Wow. Did you know? I did not know that. So that school, like now, Cersei's like, I mean, that's just, that's just the, I I knew that the railroad tracks ran right behind campus. Yes. The rail. So that, that literally, that road, which is now like park street. Okay. Which to me, I think of Harding as being in the middle of Cersei. Okay. Do you not? Like yes, it's just no, kind of in the definitely, middle. Most definitely. Well, at that time, it was literally like almost in the boonies, like the the rural. <laughs> the, the, yeah, it was getting it was, into rural. Yes. yes. No, I not, agree. It was not I town. Agree. It was like on the edge. So, well, I had there was family the, that lived in that area, and that's what they yes. said as well. Like instead of being Park Street in the old like directory, like the phone directories, it literally said that Galloway college was on the old Kensett highway. I think that's what it called it. So it was like literally a highway and there was, and it, and there was railroads there. There's remnants of them still. And Cersei is encompassed by railroads. So oh, when we I were love out, an old railroad track. I know. So, so I creepy. love the sound of trains, except remember that time I rode a train. For oh no, no, no. Pounds? In college, I lived right by one and, and it kept Ugh. me up all night. Well, you know, Jonesboro was surrounded. It was just like train, train, train. Well, this last night when we were on campus, how many trains did we hear? We did. We that is so true. We we heard several trains. So in my head, if you're hearing those train whistles, and they were kind of some were close, some were far away. If the right wind hits, that can sound like music. I mean, it really sounded good point loud and musical kind of like with the whole, you know, they were sounding there. What do you call those whistles? Train, <laughs> train whistles. whistles? Yeah, I train know. whistles. <laughs> I had one when I was a kid and drove my mom Did crazy. You? Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> so I think long story short, that yes. Gertrude lived, she did not fall in an elevator shaft, but yet there is definitely something going on there and people have had experiences and I totally believe them. Like they're not crazy. So, wow. Okay. So that I have, have, we have, uh, solved one mystery and opened the door (laughs) to another. That's what we do here at Unexplained Arkansas. I know. That's what we, hey, so we really, yeah. So, I mean, that really kind of wraps it up, but we really need people. So if you're listening to this, which I hope that at least all of our friends and family will do, you need to go in and rate us. We want you. Yes, please rate us. Rate us. That will just open the door for even more. And I will say we have tons of content to bring you we have tons planned oh my goodness it's yes. it's amazing because it so I don't stories. know I just I can't believe like I'm looking at our board we made mm-hmm. this board and it's also on our Instagram and Facebook with all these different things that we want to to hit this year I don't mm-hmm. think we'll even get through all of this board this year. I mean, there are so many mysteries so many. in Arkansas mm-hmm. and I am so excited to get started. This is just one of many. Yes. And um, it's going to cover, we're going to cover, and I'll just be honest, people, like we're going to cover some things that, you know, you've heard of, like we will dive into, you know, the boys on the tracks. Um, You know, we're going to do, we're going to definitely go all over the state, maybe talk a little bit about Al Capone and hot springs. Oh, yeah. And, I forgot all about that. Oh my goodness. But Amber has, she's going to be doing the next, um, yes episode and it's next just week gonna be will awesome. be me gonna yes be awesome. yes yes and uh next week's episode actually takes place in texarkana so Ooh. yes i'm excited i'm trying to get lisa to go with me down there for a little short road trip so we'll see if she decides to do I'll that i'll so. do it <laughs> okay, so that is it. That's all for us yes. for today. Our premiere episode uh, of Unexplained our first, Arkansas. It's our first I am so excited. Child. We oh. actually went over the scheduled time I had for us yes. to do this. And so I really feel like we will we'll be able to do an hour or more, you know. So I'm gonna edit it down. So yes. <laughs> but I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. But I'm so excited. This is so great. And I hope you guys stay with us. Our audio will get better. Yeah. Our um our Just podcast get- will 
Yes, right. as we go along, as most podcasts do. So, uh, but we appreciate you being here, and we hope to Thanks. see you guys soon on social media. Thank we'll you. See you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you.